Developing tonight, the search continues for the man accused of killing an elderly woman and setting her body on fire. Now, Scott County's sheriff releasing more details today about the victim and her connection to the suspect. Sammy Patrick was last seen traveling north on Highway 61 toward Natchez. Patrick is reportedly driving a dark colored Ford Ranger with the tag number you see on your screen. Greener Side's Brendan Hall joins us from outside the victim's home with that new information. Some of those new details are about the victim. She's been identified as 73 year old D. Edie. She was a widow who lived by herself at this home, which I'm told is not too far from the suspect's home. 3847 Old Jackson Road is still surrounded by crime scene tape and pieces of burned newspaper continue to drift through the yard. Two of the only indicators of the gruesome killing that happened in broad daylight just two days before the new year. It's not something that we see here in Scott County a lot. And in the last two months, we've had two capital murders. Um, we went from no murders last year to now uh, having these two brutal murders. Saturday, the man on your screen, Sammy Patrick, is said to have broken into this Scott County home before shooting, killing, and lighting an elderly woman on fire. 73-year-old D. Edie's family found their loved one's body inside the home after they got a cell phone alert from the victim's security system. Law enforcement has yet to determine why Edie's life was taken. There was no direct connection that we know of. There may have been, if any, there may have been some interaction, but there would not be a direct link such as he regularly worked for her or would have known her in a, in a personal situation. Patrick was last seen Monday near the border of Louisiana after he allegedly robbed a subway in Woodville. He was said to have been polite when ordering his food, even saying yes ma'am or no ma'am. But then he reportedly went from zero to 100, pulling a gun on the employee. We definitely want people to be vigilant. We don't know what direction he had. Just because we say Louisiana does not mean that he does not come back toward this area or stays in around those parts. Scott County Sheriff Mike Lee says officers were trying to find Patrick prior to the killing for multiple vehicle thefts, the most recent of which happened just two days before Edie was killed. Due to the location of the subway that Patrick allegedly robbed, this search has been expanded to Louisiana as well. The Scott County Sheriff's Office is offering a $5,000 reward to anyone who can offer information that leads to the arrest of Patrick. In Forest, I'm Brendan Hall. Three on your side.